Number two has been withdrawn at the start. Number two withdrawn at the start. So blind man not going with them as they rest the field, head off towards the first flight and on the inside the in crowd. And Mike O'Connor the first to show in front with bunting up sides that one. And all safely over the first voice of reason in the pink jacket. Races on the outside as they head towards flight number two, which uh, a long run towards until they get there, the first of the two in the straight. But uh, keen up front is Voice of Reason and Sam Ewing on the outside of the in crowd and Mike O'Connor. Half a length then to Bunting, who races in third, and turn a length in front of, of Base Money, who's four on the inside for Dunhamila, with on the outside of these the grey Mr. Lincoln, who's in company with Can't Catch Camacho and Bright Legend. And they're in front of the back two as they continue the run downhill towards a straight timeless piece. And the back marker is Tasmanian Girl. So heading into the straight towards flights two and three of the nine and all that they'll be jumping in this race. And it's voice of reason, possibly settling maybe a little bit better in front. Leads by about a length to Bunting, who races in second. Third on the inside is the in crowd. They're followed by Can't Catch Camacho in the stripes leaves towards the center of the track in company with the blue and yellow of Bright Legend. The gray Mr. Lincoln is on the outside of these with base money jumps at next on the inner. Ahead of Timeless Peace and the back marker continues to be Tasmanian Girl. As they come to flight number three, the last in another circuit, and Voice of Reason lands in the lead. By about a length or so, Bunting races in second, third on the inside is the in crowd. They're followed in four by Bright Legend. Can't catch Camacho and base money next, followed half a length back by the grey Mr. Lincoln, who's in front of Timeless Peace, and the back marker is Tasmanian Girl. So as they begin to make the right-handed swing to bring them towards the entrance to the back straight, which is a little less than a circuit to race. Voice of Reason. And Sam Ewing takes them along by a length to Bunting and Sean O'Keefe in second. Length and a half then to the in crowd and Mike O'Connor who's third on the inside of in four Bright Legend under Daniel King. Therefore the length and a half back by Base Money and Donna Myler on the inside of Cad Catch Camacho and Richie Condon. With on the outside of these races Mr. Lincoln and Sean Flanagan who's just in front of Timeless Peace and Carol Miller in the back marker, Tasmanian Girl and Shane O'Callaghan. So as they make the run towards the flight which is six to the finish the first of four in the back straight and it's voice of reason still taking them along by a length and a half to bunting travels nicely in second good jump in front there boys voice of reason good jump by bunting in second as well the in crowd races third on the inside of bright legend followed then by base money can't catch camacho on the outside of these followed then by timeless pieces made his place on the inside of mr lincoln and a few lengths then to tasmanian girl mistake there by base money but uh, jumping back up to take much closer orders to jump the fourth last right and the pace just beginning to slacken a little bit in front voice of reason still dictating by half a length to bunting in second base money the in crowd and bright legend dispute third fourth and fifth as they pass the five furlong point and jump the third last flight. can't catch camacho made a mistake there and has dropped back through the field mr lincoln travels nicely for sean flanagan on the outside of this group followed then by timeless peace and tasmanian girl who looked like uh, getting detached but has uh, tacked onto the heels of the leading group and only has ca catch Camacho behind it. As they head across the top and on the downhill run towards the turn into the straight inside the final half mile of this opening Aqua Process Solutions three-year-old maiden hurdle. Voice of Reason on the inside, Bunting travels strongly, moves alongside. They're followed by Bright Legend with on the outside of these Mr. Lincoln traveling as well as anything. They're followed by the in crowd and base money's being ridden along. Tasmanian girl and can't catch Camacho. Swinging in, open race. Bunting takes the lead one off the rail. Bright legend in the center. Mr. Lincoln travels well on the outside. And this three will go on by a couple of lengths to Voice of Reason, the in crowd, and base money who tries to stay on. Down to the second last, and as Bunting opens up and goes on by a length and a half as they come to the second last, Bunting lands a length and a half in front of Bright Legend, slight mistake in second. Mr. Lincoln now being coming on the outside for Sean Flanagan, but Bunting has about a three length advantage down to the final flight. Bunting jumps it well in front. Mr. Lincoln, a slight mistake in second. Bright Legend and base money third and four. But racing up towards the line is Bunting, who's going to open the Limerick Christmas Festival with a winner for Willie Mullins and Sean O'Keefe. Bunting by about half a dozen lengths in the end from Mr. Lincoln second, base money third, Bright Legend four. Fifth was timeless peace ahead of the in crowd. Really good performance and hurling debut by Bunting, a previous winner, of course, in France, getting off to American good style. Sean, well done. Yeah, yeah, delighted with that. Uh, he's a nice horse. He's do, he done everything well and uh, he's a lovely attitude. And mm. He was very professional for his first day now uh, over hurdles. He was strong at the line in France when he won there in March. And again, the last furlong and a half, he hit the line good with you despite looking around a bit in front. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he, he put a lot of distance between his rivals late on in his race from France. He, you know, he can stay well and handles that soft ground. Um, and look, he had a look down over the last two, but uh, there was always a nice bit of horse there now when I wanted him. Yeah. yeah indeed, lovely performance. Say the ground first race today, obviously getting the best for it. How bad is it? Yeah, look, it it probably is heavy ground. You could call. I'd say after it opens up a bit, it it, it will be all right. Yeah, yeah. A couple of really good rides in the car. Of course, Lock Lynn and the Grade Two hurl very impressive and hurling debut at Punchestown. Yeah, he was. Um, didn't have to beat a whole lot there, but look, he he uh, he should have improved a lot from that experience that day, and hopefully this trip and everything should suit him. Miss Garty Yates stays very well in that mare's handicap hurl last time, and having kept on well late on. Yeah, she does, and for a small mare, she handles that heavy ground. She loves that, so. You know, it'll take a bit of getting, so that should suit her as well. She'll stay going, yeah. Ben sees a strong traveller the last furlong. Maybe he might stretch him here, I would have thought, but he's in good form. Yeah, he is. He's been running well. Like um, He wasn't beating far and then he won nicely. So, look, he's, he's, he's a good jumper and everything. Hopefully he'll run go close, yeah. Great start today. Well done. Yeah. Thanks, Fran. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.